Remove the three bolts from the starter and remove the starter. Using a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, remove the screw from the center of the ratchet guide. Remove the ratchet guide and friction spring. Remove the friction plate. Remove the return springs and starter ratchets from the starter recoil reel. Lift the starter recoil reel from out of the starter recoil case and remove the rope. Carefully remove the starter spring from the recoil reel. Inspect the starter spring for broken ends. Replace if needed. With the opening facing to the left, hook the opening into the slot on the reel and install the rest of the spring into the reel. Try to keep pressure on the spring with at least two of your fingers so the spring does not come out while you're putting it in. The inner hook should be close to the center hole. Adjust the hook by slightly bending to get it to be close. If not, it will not catch the tab on the starter housing. Place the recoil reel into the housing with the spring facing down. Slowly rotate the reel counterclockwise until the reel drops down and you can feel tension as the spring begins to tighten. Release it and it should spring back clockwise. If it does not, the spring hook is not aligned with the tab and the hook will need more adjusting. Install the starter spring into their slots, and then the starter ratchets under the springs. Test the ratchets by moving them out and seeing if they spring back when you let go. Install the friction spring and the friction washer into the ratchet guide. A dab of grease will stop it from falling out. Install the ratchet guide so the arrows on the guide align with the end of the ratchets. Then install the stunner screw. Test the starter by rotating the reel back and forth slightly and seeing if the ratchets slide out then back in. Use a lighter or match to burn the ends of the rope. Once the rope begins to melt, blow out the flame and quickly wipe the ends of the rope with a towel. Squeezing and twisting the towel as you pull it will produce a nice point on the end and make it easier to install. Tie a knot on one end of the rope and insert the rope through the handle. Make sure no part of the knot sticks up above the handle so it does not poke the hand of the user.
Rotate the reel counterclockwise until it nearly stops. Rotating it the wrong way will destroy the spring. Align the rope hole on the reel with the rope hole in the housing and install the starter rope through the two holes. Tie an overhand knot on the end of the rope. Pull the rope tight and make sure no part of the knot extends above the reel. Release the rope and it should pull all the way in. Pull the rope to test the starter operation. When you pull the rope, the ratchet should extend out. When you let go of the rope, it should be pulled in automatically. Install the starter assembly so the writing is parallel with the bottom of the engine. Then install the three bolts and torque them to 84 inch-pounds.